Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. I hope you you guys are doing great. And uh, I come up with this new video which uh, talks about uh, uh, how to be a joyful when you make art. Uh, because a lot of people are giving a lot of attention to the art, but they are forgetting the very basic thing, which is enjoying the artwork, right? But before jumping to this video, uh, I just want you to visit my website and uh, check out my uh, beginner and intermediate free watercolor lesson which I am giving away. So all you have to do is visit my website and uh, sign up for that. I will send it to your inbox. So this will give you a very solid foundation how to start your watercolor journey if you are a beginner or intermediate. So that will be fun and I am sure that you are going to like it. right? <laughs> And uh, if you are a new, uh, you know, visitor, so I would request you to please subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon so you will get a notification when I upload a new video, right? Uh, so today I am painting a car, but uh, car is just a medium. <laughs> it's just a medium uh, to communicate with you. What should be the process uh, and how we can make this uh, process much joyful and uh, more interesting rather than uh, giving more focus on outcome and uh, making things some more you know unpleasurable um, the entire process so first we need to understand like uh, why we paint it right we paint it to get a joy uh, to get a pleasure from from the color and from the Every stroke we make with a, uh, you know, uh, with a color, a pencil, or strokes, every bit end-to-end -end process, right? But did you ever felt that? <laughs> and I'm sure that you must have also felt that uh, uh, whenever you start, let's say, uh, for example, a sketch itself, many people they don't believe in the sketch. They they just simply go and uh, you know they. They completely skip this part. They feel like the sketching is not important for them to learn watercolor, and therefore, uh, it's okay to you know just leave that behind. And why we should give a more importance on uh, sketching and etc. etc. So, but that's not a that's not a good idea, you know. Yeah. Uh, the sketch is sketching in any form of art is a super important it gives you on a foundation it gives you on a direction and it tells you you know it creates the story right before you start painting right um, so sketching also a big uh, a big way to express yourself there is a various way you know there is a lot of possibility in the sketch itself right and moreover when you sketch it it's a beautiful process it's a beautiful way to you know uh, keep your keep yourself in a stage that you feel very confident with all your stuff we are you are going to make in a watercolor this gives you flexibility in every aspect of watercolor in terms of uh, depth shadow coloring you know how the, uh, the overall composition and everything it gives you know, everything right to me my my journey with uh, with watercolor I have been enjoying the sketching whenever I start my painting right and this sketch itself gives me a lot of joy a lot of pleasure I see that uh, you know the story is being built right through this sketching and I uh, I would encourage all of you, you know, all the, especially the beginners who is just avoiding this sketch. I would encourage you to just explore this and go beyond of your, uh, you know, your ability and just explore, do a lot of sketching and just see what, how things are making, you know, absolutely, you know, pleasurable, you know, into your journey, right? So now you see this color I'm, I'm just putting here. It's a fearless. <laughs> it's a effortless. I would say. And that effort, this effortless thing happen, believe me or not, this happens through the sketch, right? And uh, this not only just uh, makes your painting more 
interesting, more fearless, but also gives you a lot of confidence in every aspect of you. You will never, you will never think twice doing anything ridiculous. And uh, doing things uh, something really ridiculous <laughs> in watercolor is something very encouraging because you are taking the complete liberty to 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 do mistake and that's and that's what this watercolor demands from you it says you to make a mistake it says you to just be fearless do some crazy thing and just see what happens right so make a lot of sketch make a lot of sketch make this process itself is joyful right and uh, now you see this color which i am which i am just uh, putting here in the, for the background for this particular car we are making this right the whole idea here is to how to how to make this entire journey joyful the entire process when you when you are when you are starting this i don't i don't have any expectation i am not in a mood to make this painting beautiful and that's uh, that's working for me because i don't have an, any expectation and i'm just i've been saying that i've been saying this uh, in, in most of my videos that uh, if you are keeping anything in your mind in your conscious mind that uh, you're going to make a beautiful artwork then there those expectations will make you weak because you will be full of fear and uh, you'll be keep avoiding yourself to make a mistake and uh, that feeling and that behavior will never allow you to learn this agile medium remember this is a watercolor this is water this is absolutely water right <laughs> that's a that's a bit this is the important aspect you need to understand this is water can you control the water you are actually controlling the water you are trying to control the water and it's very it's very difficult you need to be a master in it and this mastering will happen only when when you become a fearless when you are doing something crazy because uh, water wanted to go in a different direction and you want to control them they are not going to listen you right until unless you have really really a fearless approach fearless approach to do it whatever the way you want you just wanted to, to direct them just give it a direction that you should be behave like this and you should be mastering on this right so the whole idea is the whole point i'm trying to bring in here is uh, when you make art just just be very very casual you know make things in a way that uh, whatever the color you are putting there it should not uh, it should not uh, give you an impression that if i'll put this color my painting is going to spoil and uh, it look dirty just make that dirty just keep that in mind that i'm going to do something which makes things it might make things a little dirty my painting the entire painting might get spoiled right so those things so you'll have to take it now see here i did it something and uh, there's a lot of uh, colors which actually flown down blended with uh, uh, some other color and etc etc i had just not thought that okay i want in i don't i want in that direction it happens by itself right because i have mastered that technique and that technique that mastering that technique happened only when i learned that uh, if i do certain things this water will behave in a certain manner right just imagine that if i would have not done anything and i was it i would have been in a full of fear to make any mistake and i would not taken the charge of doing anything crazy then things will not be improved and i would have uh, in a same direction where most of the people are right now i'm seeing that they are just trying they are just doing something they are just making things and uh, and still even after that things are not working out 
because they want that their things are happening their themes are not happening because they have an expectation they wanted to make things beautiful they don't want to make any mistake right so make a mistake <laughs> it's okay it's okay to make a make a mistake in watercolor just do something and if things are not happening i'm sure that if you're going to do such crazy thing what i'm doing here your few paintings will be absolutely messed up trust me and you will be totally <laughs> irritated <laughs> with that with that behavior and you will you'll feel like uh, what the hell i'm doing why is this happening why should i spoil so much of paper and why should i uh, you know um, do do such crazy thing but the whole point here is your each painting you are spoiling the each paper you are spoiling each i mean every bit of the color you are you are spoiling that gives you something it's giving you something right so try to learn from that each of this just try to learn how basically the each of these uh you know colors are behaving when you do certain things right in this example now you see this what i am doing here is in the front of this car i did absolutely messed up i messed up but that that messiness <laughs> it's a beautiful to me it's a beautiful expression you can do even more you know you can you can do even crazy thing here i mean you can just sprinkle the water just put some salt and do some experiment and see like what is what is there but remember one thing whatever you are doing just keep that in mind that it should teach you something you should get you should get something why this happened how did this happen just keep that in mind and next time when you are doing this try this again and see that is this something is still the same thing is it uh, repeating the same thing right so these are the common thing which is required in watercolor trust me every one of you who is watching this video until or unless you are not ready to make a mistake or do some fearless thing in watercolor you are continuing to going to make the same thing again and again and eventually you will you will and eventually you you will uh, leave this medium and you are leaving a very beautiful medium by the way <laughs> so i want you to just be a, a little little person and uh, do such thing uh, which which makes you happy bring that joyness and the joyness only comes when you will just remove all your worry all your uh your expectation to making things beautiful okay just keep that in mind that whatever you are creating it's you and this is for you absolutely this is for you you're not creating for anyone you're not creating for any of your audience or anything just remove that expectation what other people will say you know a lot of people i have uh, spoken they say like uh, my family and my friends are saying like you know oh my god so you have spent so much of time with watercolor but your watercolor is not improving and some of them have said like you know i can i can feel that i can the people are not saying but i can just feel that my my paintings are not improving so there are some basic problem right that these basic problems there is no basic at all based you know in watercolor there is no basic things at all you just do a some fundamentally right thing with uh, no expectation do everything whatever you want to do just take the color and pour what i'm doing here and just see the pleasure is coming and it gives you an, a whole lot of courage to go and do something crazy you'll see the plays of how the plays of things are how you're making this entire entire process pleasurable so 
one thing i would say when you're making the artwork any point of time you 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 you're feeling that your painting is going to be completely messed up you have absolutely messed up the painting you continue doing that you keep continue making the artwork do not stop and do not stop in the middle and say like okay it's like i have completely messed up now <laughs> i don't want i can't continue and you just leave it in the middle do not do this complete that do some crazy do something crazy okay and do this again and again and again trust me the day you are going to make this process enjoyable rather than making this uh, full of expectation you will see the improvement you will start seeing how your paintings are improving right so keep doing that and be consistent don't be like uh, making one painting a day and you are coming back after 10 days and doing things like that don't don't do that just be consistent make at least uh, you know uh, at least three to four artwork in a week or probably a little more even if if, if it is possible then you will see things are absolutely easy and uh, you will be enjoying the watercolor much much better way and i welcome you to my watercolor class these are the online watercolor class so which i offer uh, to all the students so whether you are a advanced level or you are intermediate or you know beginner so for everyone so there is something for you so please go ahead and uh, check my website and learn more about, more about this so thank you so much everyone and uh, my best wishes to your watercolor journey and i and i'm sure that uh, going ahead uh, you'll have a fantastic time with your watercolor so thank you so much and uh, i will come with a new video very soon till then take care and bye